I think the Boys and Girls Club changes the world just by showing kids that they have a place to be after school, that it's not just the, you know, it's not they just have school and then nothing. They have a place, they have a purpose, and that's at the Boys and Girls Club. I think it just, it gives a lot of kids a place to go because I know um, a lot of kids who really don't have that. And um, instead of just, you know, being out and about there, they have this one place where they can come together and there's no judgment. Some of my favorite memories is when I played basketball with one of my favorite counselors named Mr. Anthony. He was pretty cool because he was like seven feet tall and he could dunk. And I was like only like five feet tall, so I'm like sitting there going, whoa, that was cool. Well, when I was in fourth grade, I used to have a really hard time reading and writing. So um, when I was at the club, I used to write with my name a lot because when I signed in, I used to put my Z's backwards and then I figured out like how to write my own name. And then I figured out if I can do that, I can do a lot more. It has showed me perseverance, how to, you know, take something and keep going with it and don't give up on yourself. That there will always be people behind you, pushing you, stepping you up, saying, hey, that you can do it and, you know, supporting you in everything that you do. Looking back at my past and then looking back at now, I'm like, they've helped me out so much to grow over all the negatives and look at just the positives in life. Oh, wow. It, it has done so much. It has made me more outgoing, more active. Now I can actually be happy, be more happy than I've ever been, more productive, and I can finally f pick and choose my favorite college. And, in the, and when I reflect back on this, tears of joy, it's gonna be tears of joy. I can tell that for, some, for most kids, um, it's, it's a place where they can go to relax, to be themselves, um, I know that I can be myself at my club. I am a much stronger girl than I thought I was. I was involved in Get Real About Drugs and Violence. It was a program that tried to teach kids about the different um, statistics like uses of tobacco products, um, just substance abuse, alcohol. Um, and then we went into the community and tried to educate others about it. That's how I know everybody. I go places and I'm like, hey, I used to go to the Boys and Girls Club with you. It's really cool, pretty much, it's really cool. Over 11 years, you make a lot of friends and you, they're lasting relationships that you have with people. The first thing that I got really involved in was art. And then I realized that I could just do art and stuff and make friends that also like to do art. And then um, I got more involved in Smart Girls and other programs that we do. And then that's where I found most of my friends and broke out of my shy shell. <laughs> like at times where I felt alone or felt like I didn't have any friends, like when I was being bullied and stuff, um, the people at the club, the people in the staff at the club really helped me and really made me realize that there are people out there that care and that won't judge you about everything. And that really impacted me. It was very challenging going through cancer. And I really, like, there weren't many people that really understood me. Like, I mean, I really, I could understand, I mean, seeing like a bald kid that maybe is just a little more socially awkward because of uh, all the things they've been through. Boys and Girls Club just accepts the person as who they are, not with going through cancer. Well, I started going when I was in the second grade. A friend, in, like, showed me Boys and Girls Club and I just fell in love with it because it was the only place I really fit in. And I just feel so lucky that I was the one that was chosen to come here. Like no matter what happens, that this experience is just wonderful. And even if you don't get this experience, like just being a part of Boys and Girls Club is worth it. First day was very nice and I knew I wanted to come back because the first day I already made three new friends. They were outstandingly amazing and they were the best I ever had and I got help and like I said I've gotten help with schoolwork, leadership skills, sportsmanship and all the qualities I didn't have or I would not think of back then.
healthy habits totally taught me to eat more healthy because I was, I'm skinny now and I was a little skinny back then, but I was not making the right choices. Like every time I saw a Twinkie, I'd go and be like mine. So they taught, healthy habits taught me to eat healthier and how I can live a lot longer just by choosing the right foods. Being Youth of the Year means to me that I can go out to everyone I see and I can show them like this is my club and they're, they're wonderful, they're fabulous, they're amazing, they're all of these adjectives that I would just love to express to everyone I see. I get to show them where I truly grew up, where I became myself and I get to show them sort of my home and it's truly an amazing experience to draw attention to my club and show people this just truly wonderful place for people to express themselves and become better. Being Youth of the Year will, will give me an outlet to tell the legislators and tell people of higher positions, like, give this program more money because they need it. If you want to see crime rates go down, if you want to see more people striving for education and striving for success, it starts with the Boys and Girls Club because they're, they're teaching you, they're giving you all the tools you need. So Being Youth of the Year will give me that outlet. Well, the Boys and Girls Club has definitely showed me that no matter the obstacles, one can always come out ahead and as long as you put hard work into what you want to do, you can always achieve it and nothing is impossible. Um, representing 39,000 kids here in the state of Colorado is, is a, a great um, responsibility but also a great honor and I would be honored to, to represent those kids because I know what it's like to go through obstacles. I know what it's like to come from a community rich in struggles. But yeah, I also know what the Boys and Girls Club has done for me. I know what the Boys and Girls Club has to offer and I would like to be a part of that and, and giving back to the community.